as I understand it, the government has once again reached the end of, a ro or end of the road and on another one of these matters that has gone, litigation after litigation after litigation, interest after interest after interest, and if I'm not mistaken, the figure now is above $100 million. For three. For three cases, wrapped up in one. But, but matters that started from 2008. So we're looking at eight years. And so no doubt, a substantial portion of that judgment is interest. Now, the decision of the Prime Minister, I, I believe it is absolutely reckless. Man, I am no fan of Michael Ashcroft at all. I believe that these matters ought to have been settled a long time ago, though. Um, I would be the first to jump up and say emotionally and nationally, we should not pay Michael Ashcroft, but not paying Michael Ashcroft has its consequences. And as we can see, the Prime Minister, in his wisdom, as the leader of our nation, has taken us down the path of taking away assets from individuals, dragging it on, so what he does is take, 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 litigate, litigate, lit litigate, and now we're ending up where we're paying. So we're at the pay, pay stage. And when you look at the individuals who have benefited from this strategy of the Prime Minister, it's just his family. It's his family that's involved in all these litigations, millions and millions costing us when he knows as the Prime Minister of this country that when you take someone's asset, you must pay for it. And so... While I'm, I, I don't know the exact breakdown of the figures, I know that a substantial portion of it will be legal fees again, and I know a substantial portion of it will be interest again. And if he does not want to pay, there are consequences for us as a nation. I mean, foreign direct investments has, has taken a direct hit over the last eight years. Um, so there, there are different consequences that we face as a nation, and, I, and so he needs to really consider what he says and what he does, even though he's trying to once again blame the PUP. That's all he does. That's, that's his only game plan. But now I think the people of the country are seeing through that. They see who all are benefiting from his actions, and it is only his family. And at the end of the day, the Belizean people are footing the bill. That is what now everybody is realizing.